In the Catholic Church, October is known as the Right to Life Month. Every year in October, the Catholic Church puts forward the issues affecting human life. I'm going to use a series of Monday October videos on YouTube to talk about various aspects of the Right to Life movement. So often I think people tend to reduce the Right to Life movement to simply the issue of abortion. And while that is the key and central issue, it's not the only issue. So I think it's important to explore it from many different angles. However, today I am going to talk about the issue of abortion. And then next week I'm going to talk about the issue of euthanasia. And the reason I chose those two goes back to my seminary days. When I was starting seminary formation with the Congregation of Holy Cross, which are the priests that run the University of Notre Dame, by the way, go Irish, even though that's getting harder and harder to say, one of the things that was said to us as young seminarians was that we could judge a community by the way it treats its young and the way it treats its old. And I think that's very true. The Congregation of Holy Cross was a great community because it treated its young well and it treated its old well. And you could see that permeate, that joy permeate throughout the entire community. When it comes to society as a whole, though, I think we should cringe if we try to judge it by those standards. Because more and more, we see the issue of the way the youth are treated and the way the elderly are treated becoming very problematic, whether it be issues of euthanasia on the end of the elderly or issues of abortion and infanticide on the young. And so I want to talk about those two issues first. When it comes to the issue of abortion, I don't have anything new to say on the topic per se. I want to go back and talk about why the church teaches what it does and why she is unequivocal in her opposition to abortion. And by that I mean a lot of politicians will say that they are against abortion except in certain cases. Usually it's rape and incest or something like that. But the Catholic Church doesn't say that. She says we're against abortion even in cases of rape and incest. And the reason for that isn't because the Catholic Church is discompassionate towards people who have been raped or anything like that, nor is it because the Catholic Church is just trying to create more Catholics. I mean, if that were the case, we'd have to say, gee, is it really working? Rather, the Catholic Church is saying, we respect every single human life. We believe that every human life has the dignity given to it by being made in the image and likeness of God. So it's found in the book of Genesis that human beings are created in the image and likeness of, of God. And then throughout scripture, we see that there are references made to the fact that God knew us before we were born, before he even created us in our mother's womb, if we're told in some instances. And so it becomes important for us to respect life. And this is not a new teaching, by the way. This goes back to the first century. There's a document called the Didache, in which, which is the writing of the Twelve Apostles. And in that document, the apostles clearly state that infanticide and abortion are heinous crimes, and they are not tolerable within the Christian community. And that teaching has been carried down throughout the ages. And it's one that we take very seriously. We say it strikes the very heart of what it means to be a Christian, because the heart of that is to understand that we human beings are somehow different from every other creature that's been created, including the angels. You know, we are created in God's image and likeness. Not even the angels are created that way. And as such, we have a dignity given to us where we are icons of God. And any time a human life is disrespected, it's a disrespect to an icon of God, which is ultimately a disrespect to God himself. And so that's why the Catholic Church says we can never allow abortion, we can never allow infanticide, because we're taking innocent human life. And so that's the issue at stake here. Now, one of the things the Catholic Church is known for, as people will say, is that there's an excommunication involved with anybody who is either procured an abortion, so somebody who's had an abortion, or who's assisted an abortion. That could be the doctor, that could be somebody who drove someone to the abortion clinic, that could be somebody who helped pay for an abortion. Anybody who's been directly involved in that has also been excommunicated from the Catholic Church by virtue of their action. So they don't have to have a formal decree like uh, Martin Luther or somebody, but rather by virtue of that action, they've cut themselves off. That's what excommunication means. It means we've separated ourselves from the Catholic Church in a definitive way. Now, one of the things that we have to balance with this, of course, is the church's sense of mercy. And in fact, for 2016, the sense of mercy is ingrained into this Right for Life Month. Uh, so it's part of the theme that we're talking about. And it's important that we understand that excommunication isn't something that the church inflicts on somebody as a way of saying, get out and get away from us and never come back. 
Rather, it's a way of the church acknowledging you've separated yourself from us, and we want you to formally realize that, and in doing so, we're calling you back to communion with us. And this is why we have sacraments, such as the Sacrament of Reconciliation, where somebody who has procured an abortion can make use of that and return to the fold. We're calling people back through that sacrament. And in fact, this year during the Year of Mercy, Pope Francis has allowed every priest to forgive the sacrament, or sorry, to forgive through the sacrament of penance the sin of abortion. Normally that's not given to every priest. Normally it's a sin that we say is reserved for the bishops. Now many bishops in the United States have subdelegated that back to the priests, but for this year of mercy, Pope Francis has given every priest in the world the authority to forgive the sin of abortion. And his reason for doing so is because he's recognizing that, yes, while you have been cut off from the church, the church doesn't cease to pray for you, the church doesn't cease to love you, and the church doesn't cease to call you back. We want you to experience God's mercy. And so it's an opportunity for people who have had an abortion, who have been involved in abortion, to find some true healing. In addition to that, the church has a ministry called Project Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L. And this is for both men and women who have been victims of abortion, as we say. So a woman, perhaps, who's procured an abortion, perhaps it's the, the male father, perhaps it's a grandfather or a grandparent, but anybody who suffers from the effects of an abortion is called to take advantage of this ministry in the Catholic Church. It's a healing ministry. It's completely confidential. And I encourage you, if you have had an abortion or procured an abortion and you're feeling that you are beyond God's love or that God is still punishing you for that, take advantage of Project Rachel. Come to know the mercy of God and come to know your own dignity as being made in the image and likeness of God, and that the Lord calls you back and wishes to restore you to the fullness of your own dignity so that you can glorify the Lord. So for all of those reasons, I think it's important that we understand the importance of this issue of abortion in our society, um, how detrimental it can be, because not only does it take an innocent life, but it often leaves people feeling that they are beyond God's mercy. But then, even as we acknowledge the, the evils of abortion, if you will, that we can also call people back to the church. Those who have had the abortion, we call them back with that sense of love and ask them to experience the love and the mercy that God has for them and that we as the body of Christ have for them as well.